For me to live is Christ. To die is gain. Religion likes this idea. I need to keep painting these parallels so that we are very clear on our new standing because it can be very subtle, subtly find its way in. Here's a good one. It's about dying to self, brother. Oh, yeah, you've got to keep dying to self. Let's just map out a great plan of salvation that involves daily dying uh, to the self man. How about this? Let's embark on a 40-day fast to be more righteous before God. Right? Where, where's that come from? Who's the performer in that arrangement? Come on, who's performing in that arrangement? Nothing wrong with fasting helps you, doesn't move God. He's already moved fully towards you in the person of the Son. A fast towards anything that's through the finished work of the cross is not a fast, it's a hunger strike. Okay, so you are therefore doubting you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Meanwhile, a guy comes along, gets brand new saved, and he gets a revelation. Well, it's all because of Jesus, and the Word says that I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, and then he has a donut. That man is the righteousness of God. I'm not saying build a theology out of eating donuts. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, his position is contingent on his faith and what Christ finished, not what he can try and perform. So he has a box of donuts and he is the righteousness. Meanwhile, the guy who's, who's now on day 20 hasn't even had um, a cracker. No, 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 no. He is quickly falling away from the grace of God because he's saying that his standing in God is contingent on his own effort. I used to live by this one. Man, it was frustrating. All right, it goes like this, bro. All right, now you're a Christian. You're not the old you anymore, so you gotta, what, what's the best way? Is you gotta, you gotta feed the new dog and starve the old dog. You know, so you gotta feed yourself with all this Christianese, religious programs, church attendance, tithing records, all the stuff that makes us feel good. And you gotta starve the old dog, you know. Now you've engaged on this massive um, strategic plan of rightness before God but you're getting more and more frustrated and you're failing more and more times. Why? Because you're trying to approach God in the flesh. You, how do you starve a dead dog? Someone tell me. Now feed the new dog, starve, starve the old dog. No, he's dead. His system is shut down. He's decaying. How do you, how do you starve that? It's dead. There's no life in it. This is the whole point. But if you suddenly buy into this idea that it's all about you, you're going to start embarking on a legal approach towards God, finished at the cross. And then you find this incredible release and freedom within your spirit and realizing that it's all been done by God through His Son. And it's in receiving that now that the nature that the law could only demand, right, only demand of you, God through His Son is imparted, and then everything the Lord demanded, you start doing by nature. That's the difference. 